What's up guys, Maniacs here, and welcome to Abandon. Now, I know that there's been a ton of people who have already done Let's Plays and stuff on it, and there's been a ton of people who have played it and say it's a really great horror game and everything, but I wanted to check it out myself. I wanted to play it, and I know, like I said, there's been a ton of people who have done Let's Plays and videos for it, but like I said, I wanted to play it for myself. It looks like a really cool, and it's supposed to be a really scary uh, horror game that just came out today on Game Jolt. I know I usually say that first. I don't know why it took me forever to say that. But anyway, I want to check it out. I didn't really read too much into it because I don't... I, I like to go into these style of games kind of kind of hidden. I like, I like to know the actual fact that it is a horror game, but, you know, I like to go into them kind of... Uh, kind of like in a mystery I guess you could say because I like to figure it out and unravel it myself so like I said there's been a ton of people who have played this game already they say it's supposed to be really good it's supposed to be really scary there's a bunch of jump scares and everything so be warned if you don't like jump scares but anyway you guys I'm sure you guys watch these videos to watch me scream and hide like a little girl so anyway let's actually start the game okay I think it's supposed to say Johannes's. I think I said that right Johannes's boss wants him to deliver a secret file to his friend's house which is which is on an old creepy street but Johannes, Johan, yeah, I'm guessing it's Johannes, but Johannes had had a lot to do at work that day. So, he went there very late at night, and this is what happened. Next. Okay. Okay, so I'm a pizza delivery boy, and I'm delivering a pizza. Oh my god, okay, so. This is a kind of a creepy street. Uh, it's kind of annoying when I spin around. Some of the frame rate kind of kills me. Go to the house number 122, which is at the end of the road. Oh my god, you walk so slow. Okay. This is, uh... This is weird. Boss said that his friend lives in the in, in, in the house at the end of the street. Wow, I cannot talk today. Sorry, guys. I'm rec recording this slightly later than I usually do. Who lives in this kind of creepy place, anyway? This road is really creepy. Apparently, I'm in London, I'm guessing. Um, the graphics are pretty nice. The skylight's pretty cool. It's got cool graphics. The the audio for the rain and everything is... What the... Yeah, why did the... Why did it... The street lights are out. Yeah, it sounded like somebody just flicked the switch or somebody turned a flashlight on or off and the lights went out. Okay. Boss said there he lives in number 122, which it said is at the end of the street. Uh, I can't jump, can't sprint, can't do anything. Literally, all I can do is walk very slowly forward. Okay, shit, that car scares me. Okay, that really... Alright, that wasn't, uh, that didn't scare me. Um, is there actually a car there? Nope, there, uh... Guys, I, uh... Uh, I'm inside the car. Um, okay. Uh, that probably wasn't supposed to happen. Sorry, I actually was expecting to walk into it. What, what is that? What the hell is that? Uh, is that a bike rack? Oh, it's a gate in the middle of the road. Ah! Jesus Christ! The fuck? Oh my god, I missed it, but that... Oh. That noise still... I can't talk. That noise still scared the shit out of me. Who the hell has a fucking sign on the side of a building that looks like that? That's like a bad Joker cosplay. Ugh. Alright, fuck the creepy bitch from Thing. That's what that looks like, the Thing. I'm guessing. I don't know. It still scared the shit out of me. The noise just scared me because the game is so quiet. And literally, oh, okay, what the hell is that? Oh, what the fuck? Okay, where did that car even come from? Uh, all right. Huh. What the hell? Is, I, I know I'm supposed to deliver a pizza, but why did that car just screech past me and then slam into the fucking pole? And now there's like a... An obscure amount of smoke rising from the, the from the crash, and there's no driver or anything. Okay, all right. So this is house one two two. Uh, the lamp is knocked over. I can still see the headlights of that car, even though the car is facing the other direction. Huh. So uh, yeah. Oh, uh oh. So I'm at the end of the street. Oh, getting a phone call. Right. Oh, no, now I have a flashlight for some reason, and I can actually still kind of see outside. Okay. Uh, what the hell is going on? So, this is somebody's house. Boss told me to put the secret file on the blue bed upstairs. What? Why would you have to go all the way upstairs to drop a file? Okay, there's a perfectly good table right here. You drop it off. Actually, you could have just slid it under the door and walked away. You just broke into this person's house at 2 in the morning. Holy shit. It's 2 in the morning and you're dropping off a file? Really? Where is the person? Why didn't you even knock on the door? 
And why does the frame rate keep going way down to the floor? This game's cool. It's got... Okay, that's a creepy picture. Gonna go ahead and not go up that way. Garage. Okay, I love how he has a... Holy shit. All right, hi, boxes. You didn't need to do that. Guy's got pretty cool car. Uh, is there anything over here? Oh, well, uh, kind of fading into the sky right there, which is apparently in that guy's wall. All right, we'll, we'll, we'll skip over that. Who has petroleum barrels just chilling? Oh, what does that say? Flammable? Yeah, because I, I just carry flammable barrels in my garage, guys. I put them in the corner, you know, right next to a vehicle. That way, if I ever, like, mess up when I'm trying to pull in the garage, I run into them and they explode. It's really good in the wintertime because you can, you know, you get free heat from it. So, you know. So, the atmosphere and everything's pretty cool. The, uh, the very eerie quietness is, is actually pretty cool because whenever, like, something happens, it scares the shit out of you because you're not expecting it. It's, suddenly, it's right there. Like, like I said, the, uh, the thing that scared me the most had to be... Okay, can I pick up that? Oh, no. It's also kind of annoying when you get close to an object that the light just kind of vanishes. It kind of fades into it. Is that clock at a different time? Yeah, that clock's at a different time. Okay, so apparently either it might not be... So it could be 8 o'clock at night, which makes a little more sense than, you know, 2 a.m., but maybe the guy just decides not to change his clocks. What is with the creepy, like, no-mask jason right here that's that's eerie now granted some people like that style of art like my my great grandmother used to have this really creepy um it was a bullfighter it was a really old creepy picture that she had in like the sterile stairwell of her house it's the only thing i remember about her house is you had to go upstairs to go to use the bathroom or whatnot because the, the stair the uh the bathroom was in like the second floor so you had to walk up this really winding staircase, and in that staircase, no matter what way you looked, it was always right there in your face. It was a creepy picture. All it was was like a bullfighter, you know, the people that dress up and have the red cape and everything, you know, Andre or whatever they say. But yeah, that thing creeped the fuck out of me, and that's the only thing I remember about her house. That's literally the only thing. Nothing else. I, I, I remember the only reason I remember the fact that the bathroom's upstairs because that's what the only reason why I ever went upstairs. All right, so... I mean, this is a nice house. Uh, apparently, there's a blue, a blue bed up here somewhere. Like, the graphics actually are pretty good. Um, there are some... Okay, nice. Uh, that's actually kind of a cool... Is that supposed to be Cerberus? It's actually kind of a cool picture. Uh, there's somebody's initials there, but I can't see what it is. That's a cool... That's a huge computer monitor. What would you say that is? 30, 40 inch? Not a bad computer monitor. Granted, it could just be a TV hooked up to it, but whatever. I know I'm supposed to just go straight to the bed, but I just want to explore a little bit because I don't know if the game's going to end once I get right to it. This game's actually not bad. Like, it's kind of, it's honestly surprising me. Um, the fact that the, the, the lights are blue outside, or the, the blueness of the outdoors is kind of weird. Oh, yeah, I forgot that I kind of have a flashlight. Why am I, I'm, for whatever reason, I'm holding my flashlight up here. Don't know why. But this game's not bad. It's got some clipping effects. Obviously, you guys can see if I get too close to the walls, it goes like you can see everything, you know, the sky and whatnot. But it's cool. It's got cool, quiet, creepy atmosphere. What does this say? Do not go in house 122. That place is haunted. Uh, murder on streets. Do not go out alone. Killer outside. Oh, good. Excellent. Great. I'm going to go pee in the toilet. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Oh, and then it just vanishes. All right. Um... Is that just a flashlight, like, turned down? Alright. You know, I'm not gonna judge. Some people have weird sinks and bathrooms and a... A very huge toilet. That's a hell of a throne. Alright. This is the blue bed. Yeah, that's... Uh, oh, okay, gonna leave this place. Oh, I did put the file down. Top secret, huh? Huh. So, the, uh... What the fuck? So a random Japanese or Korean dude, and a guy without, well, with a guy with his face being ripped, I guess, apart? Okay. Uh, what do we got over here? Oh, we got two lava lamps, because who the fuck has a lava lamp anymore? Oh, and we got some binoculars, and some pencils, and a notepad. So is this person that lived here, is he a creeper that, you know, stares at other people? through the window and like takes notes on it or something like that all right I'm still kind of thrown by that that would I, um, I would never own a painting like that in my house maybe as like a computer desktop but you know like a background but I would never have a painting that big in my house because every time I woke up it would scare the fuck out of me 
Alright, so now where am I supposed to go? My, it says, now I gotta leave, so do I just go... Hi. Um... That wasn't there before. No. That, uh... That, mmm. No. That wasn't there before. That is, mm-mm. 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 Oh, good. The picture in the staircase, too. I'm watching you. Excellent. Hi. Man, this house is so creepy. Yeah. 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 And you decided to come in here. You're... You're a dumbass. Can I leave? There's the door. I'm waiting for something to happen. I'm sure you guys are, too. I'm so close. I'm so slow. Why is my movement speed so slow? I'm waiting for it. Oh, of course. Of course. Mm, now I have to search the house, even though I've already done that? Are you... F God damn it. All right. You need to find a way out. See, I totally should have just, you know, gone up and put the file down first. So let's check the garage. Let's let's check in here again. I already got the box jump scare cuz I came in here first. So yeah, there's a uh, oh god, frame rate. Okay. All right, whenever I get near the car, it decides to fucking plummet to the floor. Uh so hmm. Now I got to go back upstairs. Great. I'm excited. Are you guys excited? Cuz I'm excited. Uh so, what else we got here? Uh, I'm searching. There's something specific that I have to find, though. And it's probably gonna scare the fuck out of me. Um. Huh. So, yeah. I'm really glad that I already, you know, went and looked around the house first. And then I have to go back through and look at it again. Dude, if I came into the front door, I knew it was unlocked. I go upstairs, drop a file off, and I see all this creepy shit, you know, change just from me dropping off a file, that motherfucker's door would be broken down. Or... <gasps> Excuse me, miss. Can I have the key to get out the... Can, can I have the key to get out of your fucking creepy-ass house? Please? I dropped off this stupid fucking file that you told me to drop off to you at 2 in the morning or 8 o'clock at night. Haven't decided what time the actual time is because this fucking game doesn't know what the hell it wants to do. Uh, uh she's going to scare me. God damn it. You know, I love horror games, but jump scares are still the worst thing ever. God, that fucking picture. I swear to God, that's the creepiest thing I've seen so far. All right. So... Yeah. Um. Yeah. <clears throat> That's a thing that happened. Okay. So now where do I go? Just gonna... Just gonna kind of annoy, you know, ignore the floating head. Hey, there's a car out there. There's some texture outside. Man, you know what would be awesome is taking that lava lamp and smashing the fuck out of this window and jumping out. Sounds like a good plan. What about you guys? You think that sounds like a good plan? Hmm. So where do I go now? Really? Fuck that picture. The smartphone is in the kitchen. Good! I can't wait to pick it up and hear some somebody, you know, scream bloody murder or instantly die or... That phone is very fucking loud. Oh my god. I'm, I'm literally just sitting here waiting, waiting for the jump scare. I'm waiting for it. You're not gonna leave this place. Now, turn around. Hi! How's it going? You just, just gonna, just gonna hang out? Yeah? Just gonna stand there without your head? 
So, I'm sorry for breaking into your house. Um, can I leave? Because all I was trying to do was give you this file. I mean, I know I'm a pizza delivery boy and I didn't bring you a pizza. But I could give you a coupon for a free pizza if you let me leave. Because I can't deliver it. I can't go get you your pizza and bring it back to you if you don't let me leave. So, if you could do that, you're not going to let me leave, are you? You're just going to stand there Slenderman style without a head. Weird phone call. Okay, bye. Oh, good. I get to go back upstairs. Ugh. Fuck you, picture. You could not walk. I don't think you could walk much slower than this. I really don't. You walk insanely slow. No shit. I need to get closer. I'm waiting for it. Are you guys waiting for it? Because I'm waiting for it. Cut the news. The key is in the garage. So, what's going to happen when I turn around? Wow. Was really expecting something to be there. Okay. <laughs> ah! Holy fuck! I didn't even see what it was. Didn't. All I saw, all I heard was the screaming. Okay. Keys in the garage. Excellent. Am I actually going to be able to get to the garage? Or is something... Oh my god. I don't even know what that was, guys. Sorry. It was like when I played... Uh... Christ, what the hell was that game? Can't remember. It was a game a long time ago that I played. And there was a jump scare, but it like spawned inside of me. So all I heard was like the noise and it freaked me out. Alright. There's a key in here somewhere. Let's find the key. Um, There's a wrench. Some fuses. But I don't know where the key might... Oh, there's the key. Hi, big golden glowy key. Thank God, I can leave now. No, you probably can't. Because remember what that phone call said? It said we're not going to be able to leave. So I'm guessing something else is going to happen. Waiting for it. If I get to this door, then that's amazing. Oh, oh, game's lagging. Is something coming after me? Hi! Oh my God! Are you- what the fuck? Who just throws a Lamborghini through the front door? Okay. Get the key and get out. Duh, um, oh, duh, uh, I don't have my flat. uh, I can't see shit. Alright, so that's a different door, cause that's the door- okay. What the hell was that? Why did I come from this building? Yeah, that's a good question. Uh, get to your green car. Which is probably at the end of the street. Oh yeah, by the way, there's a murderer out here too. If you guys remember that. That little tidbit that it gave to us uh, on the wall. It said, don't go in house 122. And it said there's a murderer outside, so stay inside. Okay. I'm kind of fucking confused. But then again, I'm not. Because that place is supposed to be haunted. What's... The oh! Hi. Uh, okay, that that wasn't... Mm. See, that kind, of, that kind of stuff doesn't really bother me. I mean, it was still kind of, uh, jump me. But, uh, no, the thing that bothers me is really loud screeching noises. Like when that sign popped up for whatever reason. I'm guessing what happened when I missed that, guys. I apologize for missing that because I wasn't paying attention. But I'm guessing that the light flickered on and that, that poster was visible. Okay. Okay. That's really loud. Yeah. Yeah, I, I like how he's still barely walking. I like how he's still barely walking. You know, we're not going to sprint after everything that we've seen. We're not going to sprint down the road to our car to get out of here. No, we're going to very, 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 very slowly walk towards our car. Is this my green car? Is this is this the green one? Is that it? Am I going to die? In it? No, you're not. Holy shit, hi lady. Oh, 
Oh, okay. The police came the next day. They discovered Johannes's car and a, and a pool of blood on the road. They can't figure out what happened yesterday night. Yesterday night? It should be last night. Because they can't find... They can't found... They can't find Johannes, Johannes anywhere. The government soon pulled down House 122 because that place is too dangerous and the story happened there has been abandoned. Okay. All right. So that was weird, but it was still good to scare the shit out of me. It was a pretty short game. Developer did a pretty good job with it. There were some things that were kind of messed up. You know, with like the clipping into the walls and some of the jump scares and whatnot. But it was still a pretty decent game. Like, I give you credit for that. It still scared the shit out of me. And some of the models and everything, you know, they weren't bad. The graphics for everything were pretty good. I really like the fact that, you know, there you there can definitely tell there was some time put into this. And then the story is actually kind of created. Um, because, I mean, it, you all your I, I still don't get the fact that you're a delivery boy who got sent to uh, deliver files. And then you had to deliver them to a bed upstairs when you could have just put them in the door. But, you know, whatever, you know, video games. So it's going to have kind of a weird... It's going to have a slightly weird, you know, story to it, but it was still kind of cool, developer. Nice job. I liked it. It was fun. It was quick. It wasn't too long. Um, it still managed to scare the shit out of me, like I said a couple times, but it, it, it was good. And I look forward to seeing what you develop, you know, later, because I know you've made a bunch of games on Game Jolt, and by far, this is probably, this is definitely your best one that you've made. So you're definitely getting better. I look forward to seeing what you create later in the future. Um, I would love to see you do more horror games. You got a good style with it. You did pretty good with the jump scares. I'd like to see you delve more into it, too. But anyway, hopefully you guys enjoyed this game. It was pretty cool. There will be a link to the game in the description below. Go check it out for yourself. Play it for yourself. It was a lot of fun. Um, some pretty good jump scares. Maybe you'll you know, actually get the ones that I missed because I was looking away or something like that. I apologize for missing those two jump scares, but I wasn't expecting them. So, you know, it's just I happened to be where I was looking. But anyway, it was a good job, developer. Nice job. Let me know what you think of this game in the comment section below, guys. And that's all the time I got for you today. So thank you, everybody, so much for watching. Check out some of the other videos that I've done, and I will see you guys next time. Maniacs out. Yeah, there's definitely something bad happening. Wow, it is a really dark and gloomy- <laughs> Ah! Jesus, what the hell? Uh, I don't know why it's showing me minus one HP now after I've already, like, set off another bomb, but maybe it was like-